Hey guys, Jim Nix from nomadicpursuits.com. In this video, I thought I'd take a closer look at the Accent AI filter that is in the new version of Illuminar by MacFun. The new version is known as Neptune. It came out a few days ago. And the newest filter in there is called Accent AI. AI is short for artificial intelligence. And it's, uh, I describe it as kind of a super filter. It, it's a combination of a whole bunch of stuff. And it does uh, really wonders for an image. Um, but being kind of the curious guy that I am around these things, I wanted to sort of see if I could replicate what AI did by using filters other than AI. So in other words, I'm sort of trying to deconstruct AI to see what all's in there. Now, what you would need to replicate is going to vary based on the image, but I thought I would take this image that I shot in Prague and just see if I could even come close. So let's add the filter. It's the first one because they're alphabetical. I'm just going to boost it to about 50%, 50, well, 49, 50. And boom, I mean, instantly you have a much better image. I think the lighting is pretty evenly done. I think the colors look really nice. Uh, even these shadow areas, let me turn that off. Even these areas that were in pretty deep shadow are fairly well exposed without looking really messy or, or kind of ugly. So I think it looks great. So what I've done is I've over here on this tab, same photo with no edits made, right? There's the photo one, if you will, with Accent AI. Here's photo two. So I'm gonna go add a few filters and see what I can do. I'm gonna start with tone, I'm gonna do a little saturation vibrance, I'm gonna try a little golden hour and some clarity. Now I've been through this a number of times prior to recording the video and the truth is I can't get it looking exactly the same. So I'm just kinda jacking around here to see what I come up with and to see if I can uh, improve this photo um, and make it look similar to the one that's uh, on the other tab that has the AI filter on it. So. Let me just take a uh, stab at that. I think that looks pretty good. I've used four filters here, you know, six, seven different slider adjustments versus one here. So there's the AI, there's the non-AI. I've actually gotten kind of close, uh, especially in the center of the image. One more time there with AI, which I like. It's evenly lit. I like the tones and the colors. They're not overdone. It's a little bit more colorful here, a little bit more saturated. I might need to take some of that down a little bit. Let me compare that one more time. There's the before, and there's the after. Now, a big glaring difference is over here, this column and, and this column, these, uh, these brick columns on the edges of this structure here. They're much more evenly lit uh, and, and kind of warm. So I actually might would go add another layer. Uh, whoops, that's filters. Let me open the layers palette. Add, add another layer because I want to put a couple of adjustments and mask them in. And I don't want to, you know, recreate things. So I'm just going to do this kind of quick here. I'm going to go um, increase that and that. Something like that. I don't know if that's exactly it. Uh, but I'm going to go uh, mask in this layer. I'll start at 50% opacity. And just kind of paint it in here. Let me see if that's going to help at all. May not need as much golden hour over here. I might go over this a couple more times. Okay, so let me get back here. So let me go back to the original. There's the original, more evenly lit. Looks a little bit better, really. And this one, now this actually looks nice. This actually may look more realistic, uh, but if I'm trying to match this look, I didn't really do it. So that's, um, that's two layers, uh, two filters on this layer and four filters on the first layer. And, and I still don't have an exact match. Now, it's not about getting exact. I'm just trying to deconstruct the filter a little bit. And that's my point is it's an incredible filter. If you're not using it, by all means, do. If you have Luminar but haven't updated to Neptune, get it now. It's great. And if you don't have Luminar, check it out. There's a lot of great stuff in Luminar. It's super easy to use, very powerful. It's got great filters like Accent AI. And by the way, there's over 40 filters here that you can add to any of your images. Uh, as you can see, you can even stack layers. I just got to open the layers palette here. Uh, you can add layers. Uh, you've got a histogram. You've got a lot of different amazing things in Luminar. But that's, uh, that's the kind of before and after with the X and AI, which is this one, compared to sort of a, uh, an attempt at recreating it, which is, what, four filters on one layer, two on the other with some masking. The point is, I could spend probably 20 or 30 minutes and not get the exact same look on this photo as I did on the one with Accent AI. And that's the beauty of the filter. Super powerful, super easy to use. I mean, it's literally one slider. You just move it to the right till you like it and you're done. Um, I generally have been using it on every photo. However, I'm adding in other filters. I'm, I'm doing 
not 50%. I'm doing something lighter, maybe 15 or 20, getting a good base. Or sometimes I might bring it up to 50 or 60. However, maybe just mask it into certain parts of the photo. It's really flexible. You can do whatever you want with Luminar, and that's one of the reasons I love it so much. So that's a quick uh, sort of inspection, deconstruction, whatever you want to call it about the Axon AI filter. Luminar Neptune's awesome. Axon AI is super fun. You've probably been hearing a lot about it. I hope you've been using it yourself. If not, get busy, folks. It's fun. Okay, that's really it. Just a quick video trying to compare it and to show you all the cool stuff that was sort of built into Axon AI. Again, it's going to vary picture to picture, so you're not always going to have the same filters to sort of reconstruct it or, or deconstruct it. I just wanted to show you that it's a powerful filter. It's included in uh, Luminar Neptune. I think if you're not using it, you're missing out. And if you don't have Luminar, you're definitely missing out. So have fun out there. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time, friends. Adios.